Adobe Illustrator, Part 4. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to change a color and how to add a border. Welcome back. Now we're going to finish up with our poster. We're going to add, change the colors to give it a pleasing color scheme, and then we'll set up the print so it'll be ready to print. So right now, this image is black and the background is blue. I don't really like that. I think I'll make the entire thing black so the image blends in and then I'll just have to change the font color. So before I change the, change the background, I'll change the font color. There's a few different ways you can do this. There's the color swatches over here, but if you don't like any of those colors, one thing you might consider is clicking on the optional button down here, Swatches Library Menu. And then I'll give you a variety of different colors that kind of match an idea. So if you want nature, you can see seasonal colors, and they have groups of colors that work well together. So I want a nice bright blue. and it almost disappears in the background. So now I can use the direct select tool, click on my background color, and I'll change that to black. So now the blue shows up on the background. Now I want to add in the name of the author. So I'll use my text tool again, and select an area. Paste in the name of the author. Right now it's in black so you can't see it. So I'll click and drag to change that. I used Helvetica for my, my quote font, but if I want to try a different font, I can click on the type menu here, hover under fonts, and see different options. Let's try this option. And I'll make the font white just to begin with. Just going to adjust all the fonts a little bit. Still not big enough, so I can just type in what I want here. And I don't think I quite like that blue color. Still not doesn't look quite right. So instead what I'll do is I'll select select the font here. I can double click to highlight all of it. And then I'll use the eyedropper tool here, because I want to match more closely the actual blue that appeared here. So when you click on a color, it'll select that color. So now my blue matches more closely in the test tube. And just to see if it works, I'll try selecting the red, see if I like that combination. And no, that doesn't seem to work. I'll just switch it back to white. But you can try around a few different colors to see what you like. One more final idea that a lot of people like is adding a border. So in this case, I will use my, my rectangle tool. Oops, I accidentally selected that. Make sure nothing's selected. Now I get my rectangle tool. Make the fill nothing. And then drag it around. So right now it has a black border. But you can add a few different border styles by changing the brushes. So if I want to give it this brush to look. And then down under stroke, if you change the thickness of that, So that's way too thick. Let's reduce that a little bit. 